We're always on the lookout for something new and something fun. We found them both right here in downtown Quincy. It's called Idle Hour. Come on. Cheers, Matt. Cheers. Thank you so much for having us here at Idle Hour. Thanks for coming in. Your bar program as we're drinking these beers here. What's on tap? We are New England only. I'm having Mighty Squirrel Mocha yep. Stout. And I have Sour Face by Mighty Squirrel. Roughly how often would you say you turn over? Okay. Every keg, every two, three cases. You're buying one, boom, done. Yep. New keg comes in. You got it. Between the beer menu or cocktail program or kitchen, there's mm -hmm. going to be something different from the last time you were here. If I was to get one item off your menu, what would it be? I'd say the Reuben Nuggets. Think Reuben Sandwich. Minus the bread, deep fried. Matt, thanks for having us here. Cheers. Cheers. I'm about to go meet Brian, grab myself a cocktail. There's a drink inspired by your chef, Ashley. There is, hashtag chef life. Well, let's do one. We're doing uh, Old Overhold All rye. Right. And we're mixing up in the fancy glass. It's a classy joint. <laughs> it is a very classy joint. We're doing some uh, ginger liqueur, mm -hmm. some St. Elizabeth's allspice dram, a little demerara sugar. And we're stirring, Stirred. stirring this guy up really good, of course. We got our gorgeous Nick and Nora glass here. And this is the hashtag chef life. Hashtag chef life. It's almost like an involuntary thing. The pinky has the to pinky go out. The pinky has to go out, absolutely. There we go. All right. Thank you very much, Brian. Cheers. My pleasure. Your food is almost too beautiful to eat. <laughs> Stop. I mean, I mean, look at this, though. This is an appetizer. This, yeah. this is your sweet potato hummus. Everybody loves sweet potatoes. And I love when you get like that spiciness from it the is. broccoli with the, yeah. the sweetness from the sweet potato. It's and really, really good. Honestly, I like sticking an egg on anything. And a quail egg. Yeah. It's adorable. It's adorable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what these little bites are. Those are our Reuben nuggets. Reuben nuggets. Awesome corned beef and mixed it with a bunch of Swiss, patted it up breaded it, fried it, and then served it with a nice house, Thousand Island, so you can just build it, eat it, and it tastes like a Reuben. The mozzarella sticks. Now, they can't just be standard fair mozzarella sticks. You no. gotta put something into them, right? Yeah, well, right. so my, my qualm with mozzarella sticks is two things. I hate when you bite into it, and the cheese either comes entirely with the first bite mm -hmm. or entirely with the second bite. Two, I don't like when you get a mozzarella stick, and you just bite into it, and there's no, like, real pull to sure. it. We got some Cajun risotto. Uh, it's going to get served with a little remoulade, which is basically a mayo or an aioli with a lot of vegetable flavors okay. and a little bit of heat to it, too. And now we're starting to get stackable, yes. as they say. <laughs> as they say. I mean, your burger, I saw on the menu that you can stack as many as you want. As many as you want. Now, what is this here? This is a double. So what's getting you here is the bacon. We don't slice things thinly here. The bun is made in-house. Mm -hmm. It is a cross between a potato bun, brioche, and an everything bagel. And of course, <laughs> slapping an egg on there as well. Now, this messy, sloppy egg sandwich is your late night sandwich. If you're eating it and it's not kind of halfway all over you, right. then I messed up. It's again our chili maple English muffin, mm -hmm. uh, our thick cut and rendered out bacon, mm -hmm. two eggs with really nice double or cheddar. That maple English muffin is really, really tasty. You can t and you can taste the maple even through the egg, through the bacon. It's really, this is quite the spread you lay out for me. Ashley, thank you so much. Thank Cheers. you so much. Cheers. Mm -hmm.